Hey friends, Amanda here, Bare Bones Living. Welcome back. And it is busy spring time season and I have not had the chance to make many videos or actually complete any projects to show you. However, I thought I would give you a quick update on what I do have going on and what I'm in the middle of. Things that I've talked about before and I'm just giving you a little update on them. So I am in my tiny house currently checking on my seedlings that I have planted. Some that I have shown you and some that I haven't. So let me give you a quick update on that. It is a super blistery, windy day today. So I was just out feeding all the animals and I am letting myself warm up. Because <laughs> uh, when that wind blows through, it is quite, quite chilly but I had to come in here and check on these anyway. So pardon my complete and total mess of an area here, but this is my greenhouse that I have currently. Uh, so this is all the celery that I just split out. This tray has all of my tango celery. So these four rows are tango celery. And then this one row is the Chinese pink celery. So in this tray, I have 50 uh, celery plants. And then down here is the rest of the Chinese pink celery back there. And then these are my Pompeii onions that I just trimmed up yesterday. And I will be transplanting these out but the rest of my onions did not germinate so that was whatever I guess I'm just gonna have these Pompeii onions which are pearl onions and all the Dixondale onions that I had are still out there down on this level, I have my tomatoes over on this end. And then I don't have the best angle on it, but over on the other half of that tray are my peppers. And they're still just now coming up. Down on the ground here, I have my uh, Meyer lemon tree that I've had for over a year in this a grow bag. So this is, I guess, not over a year. It's just been a year. Um, I've ha grown lots of lemon trees and I've never successfully gotten them to go past a year. And I've gotten them to put off like one fruit, but it was not anything sp super spectacular. And I am not putting my citrus outside anymore, I've decided, because I've killed multiple citrus plants by bringing them outside and they either get sun scorched, like my, uh, as you can see here, this big dead thing here, that was my key lime plant and it was thriving outside and then it got sun scorched or something and is now dead and I'm getting the replacement for this because it was within the one year. I should be getting it at the end of the week. So I have yet to take this out because I was, I mean, look at how big and luscious it was at one point. Don't mind the grass growing up in between it. Um, so this is good. This is a cranberry tree, an American cranberry, and I ordered one last year and it died. And so I'm going to, I think, also grow this one indoors for a while. I'll transplant it. I'll up pot it fairly soon here. Um, I put it out too early, I think. Amongst my dead key lime is my Gala 
apple tree that I sprouted uh, from seed. So I'm aware it won't give me probably a gala apple, but it'll give me some sort of apple. And I, I sprouted a lot of my own seeds from fruit that I had purchased. And this is growing back well. I thought it might have been dead, but it's coming back. And then on this side, this plant here, the, these green buds that you see is a Bartlett pear. And the other two I have already replanted. I transplanted out into my food forest, but this one was not seeming to grow. Um, so I left it in here longer and it does seem to be thriving. The It's other two mates, because I had three of them from a store-bought pear and they were looking better so I planted them out and they just are thriving in my food forest. I'm so excited. And then this pot that looks like it's empty has ginger in it from last year and I didn't know if it was going to regrow or not so I kinda, I had two, two pots just like that and I harvested one and then I left one to see what would happen and it doesn't look like it's going to do anything, but it was an experiment. And then behind those, I have some sprigs of lavender that I clipped off in the fall that I still need to transplant out. Some of them, two of them might be dead, I think. But I was just playing around and trying to propagate some more lavender because I love lavender. And I really probably should have transplanted those rose, or not rosemary, uh, lavender out sooner. It's just that I don't really have a place to, I didn't have a place to put them, honestly. So I probably shouldn't have tried to propagate them at that time. Um, I had created, when I made my in-ground garden, my, my main garden, I went, we tilled up our grass and I went wider than I wanted the garden so that I could put flowers and other things around the garden and have like a perimeter garden around my vegetable garden. Um, but I did not maintain it and it got run over by grass, overrun by grass. Um, so I have to probably till it again and try to reclaim it. That's where I was going to put the lavender, but it's just one of those things that fell between the cracks and I didn't maintain last year. So then I, when it came time to put flowers in there, I had no place to put them. Update on the turkeys. We have two birdie mamas now. So that's Penny and one of the other girls is in there. I've seen all three of them in there at the same time. I really have no idea how many eggs they have under there, but it's going to be a lot. I know that it was just Penny and then the others were in there still laying in there and then she was putting them underneath her and then I don't think she could cover all of them so then the other one joined her but we are about I want to say 17 days out from when they would be hatching so that's going to be exciting and then in here I have 21 turkey eggs in the incubator I had 22 and we tried to candle them at day 10 and we could not see any vessels through any of them. We checked all of them and because they're speckled and the shells are thicker, we couldn't see anything. So we decided to crack one because since these are the first eggs that the turkeys have laid, in their lives, we weren't sure if they were even fertile. All we could see is that there was like a, a dark side of the egg. Um, so we cracked one and there was a half grown 
or partially grown embryo in there. And so we were really excited to see that. So now we have 21 eggs in the incubator and they will hatch in 11 days. I was finally able to get out and run my irrigation lines for my onions. And as you can see, uh, weed control is not <laughs> happening at all right now. Um, I did come out and I cleared this area. Mostly these rows right here. There wasn't much growing over here, but now there is. So I'm probably gonna have to go in and clear that again. And I wanna cover it with straw that I never did. Um, but you know, things fall through the cracks, but for the most part, our onions are doing well. I have lost some to critters, but excited about that. I did get some mushroom compost, which I don't know that I shared with you guys. And then I also went and got my pardon how hideous my garden looks currently, but I went and got a load of wood chips from a friend. And this is about half of them. And I'm wanting to continue this up all that way, but obviously I don't have all that cleared, but I want to create that same look going all the way back. I have all the cardboard. I just need to have the time and energy to pull up all that grass and lay the cardboard and put down the wood chips that I now have. So I have started with this project as well. <laughs> so there's a lot more stuff that I've been doing also on the homestead, but those are the things that I will update you on right now um, i hope you guys are having a nice beginning of your spring and i hope you're not too busy yourselves hope you guys enjoyed and i will catch you on the next one thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bones living we'll catch you on the next one